the potential debut of Cristiano Ronaldo. That's obviously going to be the big talking point. What about Scott McTominay? Will he come back into midfield? Will, will Donny van der Beek get his opportunity in midfield? Will Ronaldo start for Man United? So after a two-week hiatus, the international break is over. That was boring as hell, and it delayed. It's been 84 years. The potential debut of Cristiano Ronaldo. That's obviously going to be the big talking point. And this is going to be my predicted 11 that Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will start against Newcastle this weekend. Will Jadon Sancho be fit to play? What about Scott McTominay? Will he come back into midfield? Will, will Donny van der Beek get his opportunity in midfield? Will Ronaldo start for Man United? Lots of questions to run through in this predicted 11. Before I do begin, ladies and gents, if you are new to United People's TV and by the end of the video, you enjoyed yourself, please hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on it too. It helps the channel. I want you to be part of the community. But let's talk about, and remember this, this is my predicted 11. This isn't the 11 I would like to see Solskjaer start. This is the 11 I think Solskjaer will start, though, against Newcastle. Something that I think I'm really going to enjoy across this whole season is how consistent our back five is going to be. Because it's going to be David De Gea in goal. I actually know they're saying that when Dean Henderson comes in, let's see what goes on there. But this De Gea, it looks like he's come back with a new drive, a new desire to, to refine that form. De Gea is looking imperious right now and he'll keep his position even when Dean and Dean's back in training. So it'll be interesting to see how that dynamic shifts. But Luke Shaw at right back, Wan Bissaka, Luke Shaw right back, Luke Shaw at left back, Wan Bissaka at right back. And Maguire and Varane as our two starting centre-backs. That's going to be such a setback four for Manchester United this year. And do not underestimate how important that will be for our club. Last year, it changed so often. Maguire and Varane, Maguire and Bay. It was Maguire and somebody else alongside him. And it chopped and it changed. And the performances were great. And the performances were terrible. The con it, it, it's so important. For a team to have two centre-backs that play the whole season, whether or not that's Ferdinand and Vidic, any club you can try and compare that to. Diaz and Stones last year for City, Van Dijk obviously when he left at Liverpool. It's the bedrock of the football team on the pitch and having Maguire and Varane. Varane was absolutely outstanding in his full debut against Southampton. He was outstanding. I can't wait to see. Was it Southampton he played? Was it Wolves? I think it was probably Wolves actually. But Varane's mint. Maguire's mint. Both of them together are going to be an incredible partnership and I want to see them start in every single game this season. So I would say that back five is pretty set apart from David De Gea and Henderson and whether or not you think Henderson will play. And of course, because of the Brazilian FA, there are more questions to be asked this time because Fred is banned. The Brazilian FA are blocking eight Brazilian Premier League based players from playing. Alisson at Liverpool, Edison, Rafinha at Leeds, Firmino. And Fred. Fred is banned from playing in this game. So there are even more questions to ask in midfield here. Scott McTominay, look, he trained this week. He was back from uh, his groin surgery. I don't think that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will risk him in this game. I think the only guarantee that we've got in midfield here is Nemanja Matic. Matic will start this game. Whether or, not, whether or not you think that's the right thing, irrelevant. This is the predicted 11 that I think Solskjaer will start. And I think that Matic will be there. Who his partner is, that's where the questions are. Now, Fred is banned. McTominay is probably not going to be fit to start. So surely that's going to be where Donny van der Beek comes in. I still don't think so. I think what we're going to see now is instead of van der Beek coming in for Fred, which on paper looks quite like for like, both more box-to-box -box midfielders, not really holding midfielders. Donny could add a lot in that role. And he played with Matic in this role in preseason in the 4-0 against Everton. And he said during his interview with Rio on Vibe with Five, that he can play in the number six role. He wants to play there. But I think we're going to see Paul Pogba dropping deep. I think we're going to see a midfield two of Matic and Pogba. Instead of playing Van der Beek, and this is probably going to be a criticism for sure of Solskjaer, which I think is deserved, instead of putting Van der Beek in here. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope I don't get this formation right. And I hope Van der Beek comes in there and Paul Pogba plays in his better position going forward. I just don't think that will happen. And I think what we're going to see now is instead we're going to see Matic and Pogba playing as the two in the double pivot. Pogba's going to be dragged out of position. You know, as good as he is there, he's just better going. He's better when he plays in a more advanced left centre mid position. Simple as that. We saw that against Leeds with four assists. And the problem here is that by doing this, it means we're probably going to, I think Jaden Sancho will now start on the left. Jaden Sancho, remember, he pulled out of the England game with a knock. Nobody knows whether he's completely fit, but he trained this week. And I think we'll probably see Sancho on the left. I think we'll see Bruno in the middle. And I think we'll see Greenwood on the right-hand side. If we're looking at that front three behind, hmm, let's see who I decide to go out there. Who could it possibly be? But Sancho on the left, 
Bruno in the middle. And for me, Greenwood is probably the most important out of those three players right now. Greenwood, player of the month in August, absolute star boy, three goals, gold against Leeds, the equaliser against Southampton and the winner against the Wolves. So important that he plays. And as I said, players need to be in this team on form and not name. Now, if uh, if if Solskjaer does what he should do here, it will be Donny van der Beek coming in for Fred and Pogba playing on the left instead of Sancho because he's not 100% match fit. Not if he pulled out of the England games with an injury and he's only trained on Tuesday. But let's see what Solskjaer does because he does have options here and it'll be interesting to see. It's going to be a tough 11 to call because of that Fred ban from Brazil. But Greenwood on the right, Bruno in the middle, birthday boy Bruno. I can't wait to see what he does this season with the runs in behind from Sancho, with the runs in from Ronaldo when he's playing and Sancho on the left. I would rather see Sancho on the right. Sancho can play on the left, but in the same way as uh, Paul Popper can play in a deeper midfield pivot, he's better when he plays the left central midfielder in the same way that Sancho is better on the right than he is on the left. In the same way that Rashford is better on the left than he is on the right. Certain players have certain positions. I want to see Sancho on the right, but I think Greenwood will start there this game. And of course, that leads to the big question that everyone's asking. Will this game see the second debut, the return of Cristiano Ronaldo to Old Trafford? You've got damn right it will. There is absolutely no chance here that Cristiano Ronaldo does not start this game. Ronaldo starting 100%. Neil Custis, the custard-eating dinosaur journalist that is from the Sun, tried to tell us during this week that Nah, he's not going to be fit to play isolation. He's probably going to miss his debut. Then all of a sudden he trains on Tuesday. He trains on Wednesday. He's fine. He is going to play this game and he's going to start. And more importantly, he is going to start up front. Of course, you could put Ronaldo on the left wing here. You could put Cavani through the middle and you could put Greenwood on the right hand side. That's still a fantastic front three. But Ronaldo, Ronaldo, when we remember him from 2003, that early Ronaldo that was exciting, ran, he was a winger. He ran at players, step overs, tricks, flicks, and final product. He was fantastic. But this Ronaldo, this is a different breed of Ronaldo. This is the most clinical and elite goal scorer there has ever been in modern day football, arguably football ever. And that has happened when he's moved into a striker's role. Ronaldo might be CR7 on the back of his shirt, but it's CR9 on the pitch. He will play as our number nine. He will play as a striker and nothing else for Manchester United. I don't think anyway, and I don't think he should. He will be there on the end of crosses when you see Greenwood, if he can fire crosses in wan Saka, short on the overlaps there. Maybe Sancho too. Balls into the box. Ronaldo's your man. He's always going to win the headers. Imagine us from corners here. Shaw's corners firing into Varane Maguire. And Ronaldo, we're scoring corners this year. For sure, we're. it's going to be a much bigger threat from set pieces. And Ronaldo could play out on the left. But I want to see him play through the middle and nowhere else. Even if we play with two up front, maybe Cavani and Ronaldo together, I still want them both central. I don't want to see Ronaldo out on the left-hand side. That isn't the Ronaldo that we've signed. That was the Ronaldo we let go. But it's not the Ronaldo that we brought back. He's a different player. He's learned, he's mastered his craft, and all he does is score goals. He's going to do that from a central position. So I think that's going to be the team that we're going to see against Newcastle. I would rather, much, much, much rather see Van der Beek come in alongside Matic, get his opportunity in midfield. Fred is banned. Now is the time, Solskjaer, to give Donny that chance. Hey, as you saw in the interview, he's basically begging to be played. A player shouldn't have to beg to be played, but it is what it is. And if he does that, then we can keep Paul Popper out on the left, which is where he has played his best performances this season. We can keep Bruno in the middle and Greenwood on the right behind Ronaldo. That's our best front four at this moment in time, for sure. Maybe that will change when Marcus Rashford comes back from injury. Let's see. But instead, I think we're going to see Paul Popper dropped and taken deeper to play, along, to play alongside Matic. I think you'll then see Sancho go out on the left when I think his best, best position is on the right. It's all about playing your best position, best players, sorry, in their best positions. Dropping Pogba deeper doesn't do that. It takes away from his game. So I hope that this weekend against Newcastle, we can see a shift. And it will be a shift. If Solskjaer starts Van der Beek and keeps Pogba out on the left, that will be a change. He didn't do that away at Wolves. He dropped Pogba deeper when McTominay was out and he left Van der Beek on the bench. He even brought McTominay on for like the last five, 10 minutes when, Van, when he knew that he was going to have surgery, which was weird. That's my predicted 11. Back five of De Gea, Shaw, Varane and Maguire. Love that. That's going to stay great all season. Really looking forward to seeing how that develops. wan Saka, I think it'll be Matic and Pob, but in a double pivot. And I think it'll be Sancho on the left, Bruno in the middle, Greenwood on the right, and Cristiano Ronaldo up front. Of course, he's making his debut. I want to see Donny start in the middle. Solskjaer use this, this game as an opportunity. Fred is banned. If Fred wasn't banned, it would definitely be Fred and Matic in the middle. But he is banned. And McTominay, 
I don't think he'll risk him in this game. But Solskjaer used this as a chance to give Donny that opportunity. If he says he can play number six, it's not really a number six role. It's, I don't know what this number is, but it's a double pivot. Let Donny prove himself. He'll either prove himself correct, and therefore you've got a better midfielder on your hand, or he'll prove himself wrong, and he'll go back to the drawing board. And he'll learn from it, and he'll develop and improve as a player. Don't drop Pogba out of position. Therefore, don't drag Sancho to go on the left. Bring Sancho on for Greenwood after like 65, 70 minutes on the right-hand side. That's what I want to see. And hell yeah, we're seeing Cristiano Ronaldo start this game. And hell yeah, he'll start up front centrally. That's where I think we're going to get the best of Ronaldo this year. But what is your predictions for the starting eleven against Newcastle this weekend? You let me know in the comments below. Will Ronaldo make his debut? Who will come in for Fred in midfield? Will Pogba be forced to drop deeper? Will Sancho start? Will he be rested? You let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to United People's TV. Get involved. It's an interactive community. It's only growing. And I'd love, to, I'd love for you to be part of it. But let me know your starting 11 for Newcastle in the comments below.